Howdy folks, Bob back, and this is day two of my uh, project here to replace the um, uh, rack and pinion in my truck. And uh, so uh, today, this morning, I drove it and uh, drove really good without even uh, being aligned yet. This is just from putting the tape on the ends and trying to get it to match where it was when I took it out. And uh, surprisingly, I drove it. I didn't feel any, uh, any of the uh, death wobble like I had before. And it drove pretty smooth for as far as uh, I know at least one of these tires is out of round. So um, it did pretty good without an alignment. So this morning before it gets hot, it's already hot, but before the sun comes out, I'm going to do the alignment. And I'm going to put my uh, steering stabilizer back on, and that's going to call this, uh, put a done stamp on this project. So uh, to start off with, you want to make sure, if you can, um, center your steering wheel first and then kind of lock it in position. What I did was I have this... Uh, a stiff sunshade here and uh, you know crammed it in here best I could uh, line the steering wheel you want to make sure you align the steering wheel when you you know pull pull your vehicle up to whenever you're gonna do it and uh, yeah then I just tilted it up and then use the electric buttons down here and push the seat forward till it kind of locked in it's not perfect but it, you know it, it keeps it steady uh, while I'm doing the alignment and uh, as well, before you even pull the truck up to do an alignment, you need to put it on, uh, you need to put the front tires on something that uh, will let the front tires swivel easily while you make very minor adjustments. And what I have is these, um, these were plastic, uh, you've probably seen it before, it's uh, one of those tire manufacturers, uh, it's a t it used to cover a stack of tires and they're really kind of slippery um, plastic and I've got two pieces here and in between the pieces you can either put some oil I like to use just uh, some kind of baby powder or foot powder that way it doesn't get all messy with oil what it does is it uh, allows the tire to slip uh, when you make the minor adjustments so um, put those on both sides and then pull up on them you can kind of see the uh, powder there and uh, then you gotta get you a string and now I usually do it side by side but today I tried to do it um, I tried to do it with all one uh, piece of string going all the way around the truck and basically what you got to do is uh, in the back just make the string just make a string here touch the back and the front tire um, when you do that you can uh, um, so we're going to move this in just a little bit because it's not touching and you can see it's touching the edge of the tire there and it's almost touching there so that tells me the front needs to be pushed in a little bit and when I do that to get this to touch then I'm probably going to have a little bit of a gap at the front that I'm going to have to adjust out with the alignment so let's go you got to make sure both backs are you don't want too much pressure on them but this one's touching here and this one is barely touching so that's just about right as well so uh, now what you do is you come up to the front and you start adjusting the line in and you can see here um, this one's touching in the front and I've got a quarter of an inch of a gap in the back uh, which tells me it's pretty well out of alignment. So I'm going to pull this uh, string tighter so we get a little better. There we go. Accurate reading. There we go. It's just touching here. And you can see it's got quite a bit of a gap here. So uh, this side is quite a bit out. Let's check the other side. Okay, it's touching in the front. Let's pull it out just a little bit just to make sure. Put a little tension on it. Yep, just touching right there. And I've got a gap here in the back. So, it's uh, quite a bit out, which uh, is not a surprise. After uh, putting the rack in, that's really not all that bad. It's, uh, um, I don't know, it's only about an eighth of an inch. So, um, 
basically in. Uh, I've got to turn both. Okay, this front's got to go in. And this front's got to go in. So basically, it's right now it's towed out. So, um, you know, maybe you don't know, but you know, if you can see under there, all you got to do is just like I showed you, you got to turn that nut out and then turn the rod um, whichever way needs to pull the front tire in or out to adjust the alignment. So uh, I'm going to do that now, but I've got to go get my, uh, it's kind of dark because it's still uh, early morning, which is good. I'm already sweating and I haven't done anything. Be able to stay on the ground and scooch around. Stuff also pretty good for. Okay, at least on the Dakota, all you'll need to do the alignment. The truck is just high enough off the ground where I can get under here and do this. If I were any fatter, I wouldn't be able to do it. So. Get it up here so it's out of my way. Let's see, where's that? Right there. Let's see if I got that. Okay, that's the nut there. I didn't tighten them super tight. When I put the rack in because I knew I was going to have to adjust it. There's no way the, the tape got it close. And actually, it didn't drive all that bad because the alignment's really not that bad. I'm also going to put my stabilizer back on. So I'm going to clamp this to here. And I'm going to need, I forgot my 9 16 wrench. Now, of course, after putting the rack in, if you don't, you got to have a fairly level spot on your driveway to do this. Most people probably would, I guess. Um, or, you know, at this point, you could just drive it up and to your local alignment shop, get the alignment done. But um, since I already know how to do this, and I can get it close. Just back this nut off. Now, um, it's touching the tire. So this side, I need the front of the tire to pull in and the back of the tire to push out. That means, um, that means I need this needs to be screwed in more. So we'll start giving it a couple turns. Which I knew this thing was very tight.
So because this thing, <clears throat> because it's as tight as it is, I'm gonna pop out here and check it every so often because I don't want to go too far with it. Okay, it's not there yet. Okay, that might be just about it. So, I'll try and pull this out of here. Let's see. So you can see when I showed you before, the strings had a, this, this string was touching and the string back there, and I can't get out from underneath the truck, but it's almost touching as well. So as the tire starts, starts to move, you've got to move your string in to touch the front of the tire or whichever areas so now I've got the string touching because it released and the back is now if I touch the string I can see it's still not touching the back of the tire so that means it's got to adjust just a little bit more I apologize for the cam work here but this isn't easy but I wanted to try and film the process so I'm only going to need maybe um, And another let's take a look at that let's check the string I'm not even sure I'm <laughs> I got the camera pointed in the right spot It is barely touching. So, my, uh, oops, sorry about that. My, um, this isn't the best string either because it's got, it's not round, it's got flat spots and it's got high spots, but it is touching in the back. This truck is supposed to have just a touch of toe out. Toe out slightly better than toe in. <clears throat> toe in is going to make it wander and not drive correctly now I see that for some reason my boot didn't uh, I guess the liquid wrench dried up and now my boots all which is always nice I think it needs to turn back this way. So I guess you want to... <clears throat> it's early in the morning. I always have drainage. Okay. Well, so you want to make sure you put some slippy on your boots if you have to turn it a whole bunch. Because uh, now the boot's watered up. <clears throat> but I'm not going to sit here and fight with that on camera. Basically, this side is done. So all I gotta do is tighten this nut back up. And this is gonna be the permanent, so I'm gonna put a little more pressure on this. There we go. Okay, that's it folks. Now, I'll come out and show you what happened to the string? I'm gonna have to go get some slippy fluid. Also, I on the previous video I told you I cut these uh, zip ties off so I could make this turn and put some uh, fluid in there. So I need to. I've got the zip ties. I need to put them on and clamp it off, and this side will be done. So let me get out and I'll show you what the string looks like. So 
you can see that there's no it's hard to show this but I'll show it when I press this down there's no gap here in the front and you can see that before where there was gap when I touched the string there was a was at least an eighth of an inch gap and now there's no gap it's just barely scraping it and like I said this isn't the best string because it doesn't lay down perfect but if I uh, if I hold the front one flat with my finger you can see it's just right there it's just barely barely touching it and that's what I want because I'd rather have it a little bit toe out in the front than toe in so I'm gonna leave it just like that this side I'm gonna call it done so the other side is just the reverse process reverse process is the act actually the exact same process so I'll show you and you can see this is what the other side used to do I need to put a little more tension on this you kind of want the string about right in the middle of the tire so you can see the other side was like this and uh, so that's way too much toe out on this side so I'll uh, make the same adjustment on this side and then I'll put my uh, metal tighten that string up I'll put my uh, steering stabilizer back on and I'll put these two uh, straps on which I'm gonna put one of them on right now and that's gonna be it so that's it folks and uh, so if you attempt to do this it's definitely doable if you want to save yourself some money you know at uh, shop rates ranging anywhere from 90 to you know in certain areas 150 to 170 dollars an hour you definitely can save yourself some money so um, that's pretty much going to conclude I believe um, I've got one tire out of round so the truck's not going to be perfect I can still feel that a little bit but it's not bad at all I just drove it even with it out of a line drove really good so once I get this done and my stabilizer on I'll test drive it again and everything should be good to go so hope it helps and uh, hope you're having a great day and um, I did put the Bilstein shocks on the front of this I'm gonna put another I've got a video up on that already to try and because the front was too squishy uh, too soft and now it drives like an RT should and with the uh, balance correctly and the steering rack um, drives pretty good for an old truck with 216,000 miles so like and subscribe uh, smash that uh, thumbs up button appreciate it would help me out start to build my channel and uh, good luck with your project uh, post uh, again post uh, comments suggestions questions below and I'll try and get to them as quick as I can thanks a bunch take care